guys it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today is going to be a collective haul as some of you know for the whole month of January I was on a no buy so I wanted to haul what I bought immediately after my no buy was over in the beginning of this month I had to wait for some orders to come in but basically all I did January instead of not shopping was fantasy shop and fill up my carts and then as soon as my no buy was over I checked those carts right out and eagerly awaited did I say January or February whatever you know what month I'm talking about as soon as January was over I waited and I got all this stuff not all of it is from Ulta I'm just holding it all in an Ulta box and let's start with the good stuff first first I got a bunch of eyeshadow palettes I got the masquerade palette from Juvia's place it is the mini masquerade so the smaller pans and that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today so far I like it it's good, but I don't see what all the hype about. Like, it's good, but so are these next palettes I'm going to talk about, and they're even cheaper. So, I got four palettes from Bad Habit from the Shop Hush app. I got the Athena palette, which is the dupe for the Desert Dust palette by Huda Beauty, and I really really love this palette it is so beautiful and whoop did I just stick my finger into a shadow oh no good <laughs> and I I really loved playing with it and then I got the solstice and the supernova palette which are dupes for the uh, Natasha Denona Lila and sunset palettes and I've really enjoyed those as well. Gosh, it's hard to balance a bunch of things. And then I got the Aura palette, which is the dupe for, I'm trying not to blind you with light, the dupe for the Prism palette. And I think I'm going to take this and my Prism palette and combine them and make a perfect palette because I love the shimmers in this and I love the mattes in that one so I think I'm going to do that and I might do a video on it and then I got the Viseart Grand Pro volume one and this one I'm so in love with it was definitely a splurge but these shadows basically blend themselves they're so amazing and I'm really disappointed because this one right here has started cracking apart I don't know if you can see that um, and I emailed customer service and I haven't heard back from them so I don't know what to do about my shadows just starting to crack apart it's not a good thing and the last palette that I got which is a palette I am so in love with that I have not even touched because I don't want to touch it and like ruin its pristineness. It is the Snow White Besame palette and it is so gorgeous. It looks exactly like the storybook from the movie and the colors inside are actual colors from the film and I've swatched them but I have not played with them because I just I just want to keep it beautiful forever it's so beautiful I love it I love it and then as you know I placed an order on Ulta because I just had to try these Jen nude blushes and I love them I did a review on them already I can link that below for you and I am wearing Call My Blush today, and they're just such beautiful, beautiful blushes. I highly recommend them. And I also got the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 
powder so I could stop using a discontinued powder in my videos because I'm still using the ready powder that hasn't existed for quite some time now. Um, so I got it in the shade Cashmere 06 which is a sh the shade in the liquid that I use and it is a perfect match and I'm really enjoying that. I use that to set my face today. And then I just got a backup of the NYX Epic Ink because I just opened my backup so then I needed a backup. And I did my eyeliner with the Epic Ink today and today was a terrible eyeliner today. Please, please don't judge me for my eyeliner today. I'm, I'm so tired. And it was just, whew. I mean, the first time I tried, I had a wing up to my eyebrow, literally. It was so funny, but sad. Oh, by the way, I didn't say I got the Viseart from Muse Beauty Pro, the Viseart palette, and the Snow White palette I got from Shop Disney. So if you're wondering where I got those items and if they are still available, I will link all of these products below. And then I stopped at Walmart because that's where I do my grocery shopping and stuff sometimes. There's a Walmart right by my house. I picked up a few items. I picked up the Milani Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder in Afterglow and it's reflecting off the lights it's so shiny <laughs> and that's what i'm wearing today i think it's really like whoo blinding and i love it and i think it might in the summertime be a little pale for me but it'll be good for mixing with other stuff and intensifying other stuff so i'm really excited to have a drugstore highlight because I didn't have any drugstore highlighter. Oh wait, no, I have a Wet n Wild one. I forgot. Okay. And then I got a new foundation and primer from Physicians Formula. I got the Healthy Foundation in shade LN3, which I believe is light neutral three. And I got the Spotlight Illuminating Primer, and I think it only comes in one shade glow. And so far, I'm really enjoying both of these. The packaging is like really hefty glass, nice packaging. It feels really classy. And I only paid like $11.83 for each of these, which I think is really good. At Ulta, they're like $15 each. So Walmart had some better pricing on these items. I haven't done a wear test to see how long it wears or how it wears throughout the day, but I really like how it looks when it sits on my skin. I'm especially loving this primer, and I've heard it's a dupe for the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So if it is, I see what the hype for that one is all about because it really does fill in my fine lines and illuminate at the same time <gasps> that was a lot of stuff that's it that's everything <laughs> i do actually have a few more orders still coming in but this is everything that i bought pretty much immediately after my no buy ended now that my no buy is off and i have my tax return I'm kind of just letting, treating myself to whatever I want right now. That's not going to go on forever, but if you want me to haul these next couple orders coming in, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!